for Tokyo 2020 and Beijing 2022, the challenge to bring the whole world together was the pandemic. Today, the challenge for the Olympic Games are consequences of the Russian aggression against Ukraine. Russia's violation of the Olympic Charter by violating the Olympic Truce Resolution adopted unanimously by the United Nations General Assembly. At the same time, we are supporting the athletes and members of the Ukrainian Olympic Committee everywhere with all our solidarity. But in contrast to the far too many other wars and conflicts in our world regarding this war, some governments started to decide which athletes would be allowed to participate in international sports competitions and which athletes not. They did and they do so purely on political grounds. They want to decide which athlete can now qualify and finally compete at the Olympic Games Paris 2024. If sport becomes in this way just another tool to achieve political goals, international sport will fall apart. Because it is the very essence of international sport that decisions about participation and results of athletes have to be based purely on the sporting merit of an athlete. If, however, this kind of politicization of sport becomes the norm, it will be impossible for sport to be such a unifying force. We need the participation of all athletes who accept the rules, even and especially if their countries are in confrontation or at war. A competition between athletes from only like-minded states is not a credible symbol of peace. In this age of division, our role is clear, to unite the world and not to deepen divisions. To live up to this unifying mission, the IOC must be politically neutral. To allow future hosts to welcome the best athletes of the entire world, regardless of political conflicts, I appeal to you, the world leaders, to support this political neutrality. France, Italy, the United States of America and Australia are the next Olympic hosts. In at least eight G20 countries, there is already now declared interest in hosting future Olympic and Paralympic Games. This is why I humbly ask you, give us this opportunity to contribute to peace and understanding through sport.